Welcome, Forts fans, to the first in a series of battle replays. I'm here with Tim Ald, co-founder of Earthwork Games and programmer on Forts. Hello there. Also, Lee May of Zed Games. Hey, hey. And Ray Morgan, also of Zed Games. Hello. And I am Nick Smith, co-founder of Earthwork Games and artist. So if people are just watching this final video, uh, they will just be watching you get bullied relentlessly at this stage. Is that it, Tim? So the uh, the upgraded missile has a large splash damage. So even if it doesn't quite <laughs> reach the target, it will um, cause quite a bit of damage. Well, there's that? a laser again. Yeah. Like he had your your uh, rope there was on fire at one point. Like it was that bad. <laughs> Everything flammable was... On fire. It was yep. on fire. It does happen. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if you were quick, you would have seen the uh, the laser reflect off my shield there and bounce back at him. So this is one of the vulnerabilities of the laser. It, it is quite powerful, but if you just get that shield in the right position, you can get some nice payback. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh. We did have a game the other day where I fired at Tim, and as I was firing my laser at him, during firing it, he'd just completed the construction of a laser shield, and all of a sudden my fault was on fire. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting when you get to those stages. So, Nick, what, was, what has your strategy been this whole time? At this well, my strategy is to basically <laughs> get the laser going and uh, start doing my haircut. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then sort of uh, bolster that with the, the cannon. Um, if you use them in you know, combination, it can be quite effective. And also, as I was saying before, you can oh, deactivate yeah. the energy shield. Did I just destroy your laser? You may have. I did too. Yes, you did. So that Brilliant. was a so rubbish part. <laughs> <laughs> so the laser only actually takes a couple of hits from a sniper to die. So that's that's another one of the laser's weaknesses yeah that's true mm -hmm. yeah um, if you get the arm piercing sniper rifle going you can make short work of it and you end up having to uh, put a couple of doors in the way oh uh, right uh, which obviously which also adds to the cost uh, of developing one of those as well and I think it, in fact right there you can see I've put an extra door in for when I uh, yes. plan yeah can we talk about the doors again for a second so those those open automatically but you can also shut them yourself if you want to keep things safe right yes that's right um, when you aim uh, a weapon uh, you click your name and out to fire it it'll open the doors itself and once, once you fired um, pressing s will close the door um, which is in front of the selected weapon um, you can also do it manually by right clicking on there and selecting it from the, the context menu yes in a game that i was playing earlier uh, I had a, a door over the top of my missile silo to keep it safe. Yes. And uh, being diligent like I was, I <laughs> I shut it right. on firing without realizing that there's a few seconds warm up before those missiles yeah, go off. Yeah. And I was wondering why half my fort was on fire and collapsing <laughs> in it itself. All you tried to do was stop the rain coming in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, destroyed half your fort. That was a real shame. <laughs> Thought I was on, really on the ball there. <laughs> It's the manufacturer's yeah. fault. There should be a, a safety mechanism. Yeah, that, that is true. Um, that is one thing you've got, you got to remember outdoors is if you're repairing them, they stay in the state they're in when you start repairing them. Uh -huh. So if you're planning to fire a weapon and you, and because obviously the, the repair is the area of effect, and you happen to repair the door, you're stuck. Likewise, if you leave it open, right, that could cause some uh, calamity. So are we at the point in the game where we start placing wages? <laughs> because it looks like it go either way from here. He's still uh, got... Well, if I just land one of those upgraded missiles, he's in trouble. But I think I'm having too much problem with uh, resources at the moment. My, just, uh, my game, generally speaking, Tim's uh, thoughts are more structurally sound. Mine are sort of cobbled together around oh. shackle. <laughs> Um, you know, in a rush to get to the lasers and whatnot, start off with. So, um, yeah, one uh, quite often in the game, one direct hit into a vulnerable place will send the fort tumbling down. Yeah, so I put a lot of sandbags in the 
at the base of my fort to stop that from happening. But he's going directly for my reactor now. He's rebuilt his laser and he's getting a few good shots in. There, there can't be much health left on it. Tim's added a uh, mortar there to as a cheap uh, or a cheaper alternative to some of the, the bigger weapons just to keep the, the pressure on them. Um, You're doing a very good job of, of firing back and blocking his shots though. It's a, it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's cutting through my armour there. And the fire is actually damaging my reactor now. Right. No, we used to have it where the fire, once you repaired it, it would extinguish it immediately. Um, but we found uh, it was kind of made the, the incendiary weapons a little bit redundant, so we've added a delay on um, uh, extinguishing fires, which has added a bit more gameplay value. I bet you're really appreciating that right now, Tim. <laughs> oh, two cannons. Oh, no. So you can group weapons. But I've been doing it this whole time with the, with the missiles, but Nick just fired two cannons synchronously there. Yeah, you can group up to three weapons, so um, uh, it's really useful for air defense, grouping three machine guns. It creates a hail of bullets that's going to stop most things. Um, also mortars, you can fire like a, you know, a battery of mortars and you can also hold down uh, the alt key and as you fire it'll fire one in turn after the other uh. to prevent them all being shot out of the sky with the same burst of machine gun. But one thing you can't uh, group is snipers because we found that the armor piercing sniper rifle when grouped was horrifically devastating <laughs> and there was just nowhere to hide. Pretty much. So Nick's got five turbines going at the moment. No, oh, that's not enough apparently. <laughs> and you have? Do you have any uh, at this one stage? One under construction. Right. My fort is literally listing the weight of energy <laughs> I'm about to produce. Oh. oh look at that poor sniper is floating up there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so you're looking at a loss now. Oh, here we are. Oh. oh, still not dead. Oh, my reactor's exposed at the top. If he had mortars now, he could you know, knock, knock it on the top of the head there. It's literally a question of mortars or turbines for me. And I went the turbine route. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do have to think about you know, your limitations on placement. Uh, you can't have everything, unfortunately. You have to make compromises in your design. I said your compromise of of laser over mortar seems to have worked yeah, for you, Nick. Yeah, yeah. You see that lovely mushroom cloud rising into the sky. It's mm. all over for you, Tim. It's, uh, it's a sad day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there you have it. The first battle replay. Um, hope you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks, guys, for joining us. And if people want to find out more about forts, where do they go? They go to earthworkgames.com. Thank you very much, Lee. Thanks a lot as well, Ray. Pleasure. And we will see you guys on the next battle replay. Bye for now. <laughs>